What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest Pandora Box 12S 3D RRTV. Now this is the most powerful Pandora box we have seen so far. It's jam packed with brand new unique features such as game saves, 3D games and multiple console emulation built in. Now for those of you who don't know, this is a two player arcade game console which can connect to any screen or monitor via HDMI. Now you have just over 3000 games built in, it supports 720p HD resolution and you have all the classic arcade titles from Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat and many many more. Now inside the box you will find a user guide, you get two spare buttons, a power adapter is included and I'll let you know the voltage, it's DC 12 watts 5 amps. This also comes with an HDMI cable, a USB-A to USB-A cable, a VGA cable and last but not least the arcade itself. So this is a two player arcade system we've got six buttons on each side with two joysticks and the feel of the joysticks and the buttons is very authentic so you get a very nice arcade feel to it. Now the actual case is made completely from metal and at the bottom you've got these non-slip rubber feet so that will keep the arcade in place and the top part of the arcade is actually made from a ultra durable acrylic now let me quickly tell you the dimensions. This is 64 centimeters in width, six centimeters in height. In depth, it's 22.5 centimeters and weighs 3.8 kgs. Now quick look at the ports. We have a physical power button, power socket, HDMI out, VGA out. You have a 3.5 mil audio jack so you can connect up your own external speakers. You've got volume control because this unit does actually have built in speakers which I will show you in a bit. Now you've got a CFG and that is basically your game configuration so you can press the CFG button anytime you like and you will enter the system settings so you can play around with the game difficulty level and, and tweak some other options. Now you've also got two USB ports so you can connect a game controller and I have already tried the GameSir G4S wireless game controller and it, and it works absolutely fine. So not only can you play two players you can add two more game controllers and you'll be able to play four player multiplayer games at the same time. Now let's check out the internals. So you've got three screws that you need to open in order to access the internals. So let's quickly get it open. And once you've got the screws open, this just lifts up on a hinge. So we've got our motherboard in the middle. And what's interesting to know is you've actually got a fan for the CPU. So that already tells me that you've got a much more powerful system here that's going to need cooling. Now you can see the buttons on the other side and if you wanted to replace any buttons this is where you would do it from so you can basically pull the button out from here and replace it quite easily. Now over here you can see a single speaker on the right and over here you can see an LED strip light. So let's just switch this on and show you what the internal looks like when it's on. And you can see that fan spinning now. The fan's not loud at all, it's actually a very silent fan. So with the case closed you can barely hear that fan. So as soon as you power up you will come to this menu and you will see basically your list of games which you can just select by using the joystick and pressing the first button which is the A button and the game will immediately start loading. Now before we begin a game I just want to quickly show you the settings. So if we click settings at the back you can do a number of things from here, such as key settings, coin setting, exit mode, auto exit, select mode, image optimization, languages. I'll quickly show you what languages you have. So here are your languages. So you've got English. I've just scrolled through them. Spanish and back to English. So really you've got English, Spanish and a bunch of different versions of Chinese, I guess. Um, you can enter game settings as well. So from here you can change the difficulty of a single game or you can change the difficulty of all the games at the same time. You've actually got something called Enter Game Market. When you open it, it's basically an app store so you can download even more games. And you can see the categories here, Arcade, uh, Mega Drive, Game Boy, SNES, PSP, PCE, Dreamcast. So the list goes on, but the only thing is 
we haven't got built-in Wi-Fi in this model so there was no way of me actually connecting to the internet in, in order to download these games I couldn't figure it out guys um, no Wi-Fi no Ethernet so how do we get the internet on here if you guys have an idea of how it's possible then let me know in the comments and I'll make another video to show you how the downloading works but other than that it looks quite promising you can download games as well now if we go back out now the game screen, this is the most unique Pandora box we've seen so far. So this is the Pandora 12S, it's 3D RRTV version. So what that means is you have over 70 3D games along with your regular arcade games. So total number of games we have is 3,333. Now on the first page are all your 3D games and you can see these are all PlayStation titles. So PlayStation 1 games, you've got Street Fighter, Bloody Roar 2. I'll go through the list. I want to patiently go through this entire list to show you. Maybe not all 3,000, but I'll show you at least the 3D games that are included. Now you can see the logo, actually. I'm just going to go back to let you know. So PlayStation ends there. Dreamcast starts. There's three Dreamcast games. And I have to say, just the preview of the graphics looks great. So I can't wait to try them out. Then N64 starts. So these are all N64 titles. You can tell by the green logo on the side. And you do have quite a large number of N64 games. I'll keep going. A bit faster. Yes. NBA Live. So it ends at 70. So the 3D games end at 70 and they end on N64. So that's your 3D games. I think I'll show you this in categories, it'll be easier. So these are the main arcade games. If you press right, you've seen your PlayStation, N64, you've got FC, you've got Famicom here, and again the list just goes on and on. Massive list of Famicom games if we keep going. You've got Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo section here and there is a lot to choose from as you can see alright next we've got GBA Game Boy Advance people alright we'll keep going you've got Game Boy Color so you can play any of these games people, these are all ready to play, all you do is hit one button and they will load. Mega Drive, I know it's got the Xbox logo, but these are Mega Drive games. And all the classics are there. As you can see, alright let's keep going. Um, over here we've got PCE, I'm not familiar with PCE, um, I could look it up, but I guess, but I'm sure one of you guys will let me know what PCE is. So you've got a whole list of PCE titles. Okay, next page, Dreamcast. And there's only three Dreamcast titles here, but I do look forward to seeing how they play. Next page is your FBA. So I think that's your arcade games, basically. And that's going to be the majority of games. There's so many. So you can see the majority of the games you have are going to be the arcade and if I click once more that brings you back to the start main titles. So that was just a quick look at the list. Let's actually start a game up. So the first game I want to try is PlayStation. So let's just test out Street Fighter Alpha 3. So the game's loading. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! 
So there you have it guys, that was the latest Pandora Box 12S 3D RRTV version. Now this has to be the best performing Pandora Box I have tested so far. You have 720p resolution, plays all the classics and you have multiple emulators built in. Now PlayStation, N64 and arcade games were my favourite from the bunch, but you have plenty of games to keep you busy, especially during lockdown. Now all games played nice and smooth with no lag, and I actually cannot stop playing this console, I am really hooked on this new version. Now the controls feel very comfortable and accurate to play with, and I have no choice but to carry on playing. So with that being said, I will leave the links in the description in case you guys want to check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.